We have all used the Reminders app at some point, but most of us don't really know its full potential. Often we just end up with a messy list that doesn't actually help us stay organized. That's why in today's video we're taking a closer look at Apple Reminders and talking about tips and tricks that many people don't know yet. Features that will help you make sure you never forget anything again. You can create reminders in three ways. In the calendar app, tap the plus sign and switch to reminders. Or open the reminders app directly and tap the plus sign here. Try to include as many details as possible, like the date, time and whether the reminder should repeat, for example every six months for a doctor's appointment. By the way, you can set an early reminder by tapping on early reminder and selecting the time. Alternatively, we can also use Siri. For example, hey Siri, remind me tomorrow at 1 p.m. to call a doctor. I use this personally quite a lot. When I'm on my phone, iPad or HomePod, I use Siri for reminders very often. A feature that many don't know about is the location function. With this you can be reminded for example to hang up the laundry when you arrive home or to check if you've packed your laptop when you get into the car. To do this scroll down a bit in the reminder and select location. Here you have many presets like home or getting in the car. You can also enter your own addresses and set whether you want to be reminded upon arrival or departure. Below that is the when messaging. If you activate this option and select a person, the reminder will appear as soon as you text the person in messages. This is especially useful if you absolutely have to tell that person something and don't want to forget. Lists help you keep track of many reminders. I use several lists, for example for my YouTube channel, shopping, family and private stuff. To create a new list, tap the icon at the top and select iCloud. Then we can set a color and an icon. By the way, you can also create a shopping list here. Shopping lists differ from normal lists in that they automatically sort the entered groceries into categories like meat, vegetables, fruit and diary products. There are also smart lists that we can select here. Here we can choose between several filters such as all reminders that were written down at home. What I really like to do is to share my lists with my family. This is especially practical for shopping lists. To do this we click on the share icon, set whether the person is allowed to invite other people and send the invitation link to the other person. If we have a shared list and click on it here, we can set whether we want to be notified when the other person adds a reminder. You can also edit the layout of a list, click on the three dots on the top right and select view as columns. The reminders are then displayed in columns under which you can always create new reminders. And what we can also do with a shared list is assign tasks to someone. To do this we tap on a reminder and scroll down a bit. Here we go to assign reminder and select who is responsible for this task. Or we can make it even easier for ourselves and click on the person icon right here and select the person. If you have a very important reminder you can also flag it. To do this tap on the flag and the icon appears right next to it. You can then find all flagged reminders in the menu under flagged. Every reminder has a different priority and we can set that too. To do this we go to reminder, scroll down a bit and go to priority. Here we can now set whether it is low, medium or high. Depending on the priority, one, two or three exclamation marks will be displayed next to the reminder. For projects, for example, subtasks are really useful because we create a collapsible list. To do this, we first create a reminder, scroll down a bit and go to subtests. Now we can add many more points and check them off too. For more complex reminders, such as reminders that have something to do with work, we can also attach photos or documents here under reminder or even scan a text or type it in ourselves. You can also customize your reminder start page a bit. 
To do this, go to the three dots on the top right and tap Edit Lists. Now you can sort your groups like for example, I removed the completed reminders and dragged my most important group Sinamari Tech a bit further up. Tags are something that exist in several Apple apps, just like here in the Apple Reminders app. If you add a tab to a reminder, all reminders will be displayed down here in the menu. To always keep an eye on your reminders, you can also create a widget on your home screen. To do this, we long press on the home screen, go to the plus and tap add widget. Now we scroll down reminders and have several templates to choose from. In the widget, we can now also check off reminders directly. I hope these tips and tricks helped you with app reminders. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye!